good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen i figured that we would discuss something and i think every single wwe elite action figure just wwe figures in general if you collect wwe action figures you probably went across the sites right you've went to ringside collectibles you've went to the big time retailer sites and stuff but have you ever ventured off i'm sure if you're a big time collector you ventured off into the ebay realm into the mercari realm specifically ebay i'm referring to ebay today the other day i was just on there and i was just roaming around I was roaming around and I come across some figures where I was just like why in the hell is this figure so expensive? Like, why Why is that? Like, what the hell is so special about this figure? Why is it this way? Some of them, I understand it, and we're going to get into that. I'll explain why some of these are, you know, increased in price or, you know, why they are the, the price that they are and why they're going for the price that they are. But the reason this video popped in my head, I do want to give a huge shout-out real quick to LegoBoy95 on Instagram because he gave me this idea. He hit me up, and he pretty much explained to me, he said, bro, uh, can you tell me why Drew McIntyre elites are so damn expensive? And I was like, are they that expensive? Let me freaking search this hoe up. And sure enough, pops up on my screen. You guys can see here, I'm going to pull up a few eBay listings. $48, and this is a bid. This is for a loose Drew McIntyre figure, Elite 71 Drew McIntyre. $48 with $4 shipping, and it still has a day left at the time of recording and that's insane. A loose Drew McIntyre. I'm guessing that it's because he is the WWE Champion, which I understand it. I guess the WWE Champion is in high demand. But I feel like if he... I don't know, if he never won the Royal Rumble, if he never became WWE Champion, this figure probably would be just like every other. I felt like the NXT figure, you know, that was an exclusive and stuff like that, so that's probably why that figure specifically is pretty high in price. But for the Elite 71, a regular Elite and the main Elite line to be that high, kind of crazy. I, I just think that's insane to me how the WWE Champion, another one right here, mint in packaging, $82 shipped in the packaging. That's kind of crazy, man. That's like exclusive, that's like ringside exclusive style stuff right there with $82 and then a final one still on $40 with 40 or $40 with $4 shipping on a bid that still has five days left on the auction so that is one of the figures that I was just like bro that is that's crazy to me and then finishing it off for $85 loose Drew McIntyre. That's crazy, man. I, I mean, I when he told me that, Lego Boy 95 I said, what the hell? So, like, when he brought that to my attention, I figured it'd be a cool video to look up some of these figures and see what their prices go for. So, up next, guys, we have a, another NXT Target exclusive, which makes sense. It makes sense why this figure is probably a little bit more expensive than other elites. But No Way Jose, this is the only listing you will find on eBay of No Way Jose. I didn't check Mercari. Some of these figures may be lower on Mercari, but I feel like Mercari is better for finding the little deals. Damage is probably a little bit more done, but you know you can find some good stuff over there on Mer Mercari. But No Way Jose, right here. This is uh, out of the country, so it is um, not in you know U.S. dollars. But you can see the U.S. dollars under there. Forty-four dollars with twenty dollars shipping. So this No Way Jose a figure is going for $70 pretty much and I think that's crazy man like I remember when the No Way Jose released I found like three of them at retail in my area which is pretty rare for me so I definitely bought one I didn't buy all three if I would have known they would have went for $80 I mean maybe I would have uh, picked up a couple more no I'm just kidding but seriously uh, that is that's crazy man that's that's insane that this figure goes for $60 again it is a Target exclusive and it is exclusive again so that's probably why the the price is the way that it is but this next figure is not an exclusive and we're talking Talking about the Elite 53 Heath Slater I Got Kids figure. Why is this figure actually? I, I kind of know why, but why? It's $45 mint in the packaging with $10 shipping. Um, it seems like on average this figure goes from $45 to $60, and sometimes it includes shipping, sometimes it does not. But um, I'm guessing this is because he's not with the company anymore, which could call for why Noe Jose's is probably a little bit more inflated as well. And you'll notice uh, some of the people in this video are not with the company, and that may be why they're so expensive. But I don't know, man. That just seems crazy for me. Like $60 for Heath Slater? Like I feel like you could track down some guys that have been released in the past and they don't go for near this much so I don't know what the deal is maybe just people love Heath Slater or can you guys tell me why this figure is so expensive but I thought that was pretty cool that Heath Slater's figure is pretty I don't know if it would be called rare but it's expensive you know if you were to try to get it in the aftermarket right there next up we have everybody's favorite Zack Daddy we have the Elite 59 Zack Ryder again probably because he got released but these are the only two listings I found on eBay so I don't know if this figure is rare necessarily or if just because he got released from the company so these figures inflated but this mock Zack Ryder Elite 59 goes for $90 with 
dollars shipping, which is kind of crazy. I found this thing two or three times at retail. I only have one in my collection, which I love. I love the Zack Ryder figure. I think it's a great release and everything. But ninety dollars mock, and then we have a loose one right here, which is on auction. Three days left. $27 or $4 shipping, which is a much better deal than $90, but that's so crazy to me. His other figure wasn't going for this much, so I guess it's just the updated, so I don't think it's necessarily him being released from the company. I think it's uh, just this figure. This figure on top of him being released, I guess, is why this figure goes for so much, but the uh, the Elite 59 goes for significantly more than the Elite 17. Depending on the listing, there were some that were up there, but you can get a much better deal on the Elite 17 Zack Ryder with the Internet Championship, which is an exclusive championship to that figure alone, so that's kind of crazy right there. Our next one is the Elite 67 Randy Orton. Now, this one for me isn't too high in price, you know, $35, but every single one that I looked up, it was at least $34, $35, $36, upwards of $40 for the Elite 67 Randy Orton, and I was thinking to myself, is this because he's in a prominent storyline right now? Like, did he inflate in price because of that reason? I'm not exactly sure. I remember back at Christmas time, this figure was going for $12 or $14 on ringside collectibles, and now it's shot up. Could it be because he was in that high-profile match with Edge at WrestleMania, and then now he's still, you know, a prominent storyline on Monday Night Raw. I'm not exactly sure, but Randy Orton is up there as well. His older figures, though, weren't that expensive. Like, you can get any other Randy Orton for a pretty good price, but the specific Elite 67 updated one was the one that was pretty inflated in price. Next up, guys, we have Adam Cole. Now, this one shouldn't come as a surprise. We only have two different Adam Coles. So, the Elite 71 goes for, like, $40 or something like that, and then the Epic Moments can even go for high higher than that. So if you find an Adam Cole for $30 or less, I would say definitely go ahead and purchase it because uh, Adam Cole is definitely rare. Uh, I know why it's pretty rare, why it's expensive. He's highly sought after, especially for big time collectors. Any NXT guys, Aleister Black, I know he's main roster now, but Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, Adam Cole, Aleister Black, guys like that. The only guy that's not really like that is Velveteen Dream probably, but uh, Adam Cole is definitely on there for uh, an expensive figure that uh, is kind of hard to come by. And this this video is just pretty much full of figures that are expensive for unknown reasons or that, uh, you know, they're pretty much, I can tell you the exact reason why. So kind of going back and forth on that right there. But next up, we also have Bobby Lashley. Now, again, this is a guy that you would think this figure would be pretty much accessible everywhere, but it's another figure, much like Randy Orton, that is upwards of $30 to $40 on this one. And I guess, again, it's because he's in a high-profile spot right now on Monday Night Raw, so he goes for more. But I feel like guys like John Cena and Daniel Bryan and The Rock even, like you can get cheap figures of them, and they're some of the most popular wrestlers in the game. So I'm not exactly sure. Again, maybe it's, it's because they've only released two Bobby Lashleys compared to like 67 Cena's, Daniel Bryan's, and Rock's, which I'm sure that has something to do with it. But you would think that some of these figures would be very widely available to us. And Bobby Lashley is another one of those guys that I wanted to plug in here. Um, moving on forward, guys, I wanted to put uh, Ciampa and Aleister Black in here just because they are pretty freaking expensive. They're super sought after, especially the Elite 73 Aleister Black with the, you know, the no wristbands and the gray attire, and then the Tommaso Ciampa Elite 69. Both of those go for outrageous prices. You could even throw Johnny Gargano, Pete Dunne in here. Uh, they've only had a couple or one Elites. I think all those guys have had a couple of Elites now, and uh, they're, they're freaking figures, man. They just go bananas in the aftermarket because they're so sought after and people want them so very badly. So anytime guys like this pop up on ringside, I know that sometimes it's kind of hard to bite the bullet and just pre-order them, but I swear, bro, you need to go ahead and just do it. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save an additional 10%. That way, in the aftermarket, you're not paying $80 for it. You can get it for $20, $25, $30 over the $80, $90 that you could end up spending if you don't go ahead and bite the bullet on it. But moving on forward, guys, we got another one that totally shocked me. I remember when I was buying this figure, like, freaking all the time. Like, I would just go on eBay and buy this figure for, like, $12, $15 shipped at least. And now we're talking about the top talent Seth Rollins, the all-black attire. Yes, the all-black attire with the Intercontinental Championship and the Raw Tag Team Championship. The figure that you pretty much could walk into your Target possibly right now and find. This figure used to shelf warm everywhere. You could find this everywhere. That's probably why I had so many. I would buy them on eBay. I'd buy them at Walmart and Target because they were just flooding the shelves. The top talent, Seth Rollins, now it goes for $30 to $40.00. And I don't, I don't know why. Like, I literally looked it up the other day. I was like, God, I need another Seth Rollins. Looked it up, and I was like, $35 loose. What are we doing here, Brad? Like, what, why? I, I remember when it was $10 the other day, and now it's just shot up in price. So I thought that was pretty crazy. I wanted to plug that one in here because that, that kind of blew my mind. 
and we have a ton of Seth Rollins, and I guess it's because of the two belts? Is it because of the all-black attire? I don't know, but it, it definitely increased in price. Another guy like this is Elite 71 Big Show, another $40 figure that just it just jumps in price. Like, why is that? Why is that such a thing? I don't know why that happens, but another figure here again that is super expensive or at least super expensive. Like, Elite 71 Big Show, you would think, oh, that, that one's probably going to shelf warm. That's probably going to be one of those figures that decreases in value. No, here it is. Doubles in value just like that. So, another one is Elite 71 Big Show. Don't understand why that one kind of jumped in price. I do understand it's like an Attitude Era Big Show, but I don't know, man. I, I don't know about that one. This next one was a comment off of my previous video where we talked about the upcoming WWE Elite figures. And Stone Cold Steve Austin was one of those rumored elite figures coming out. And somebody said, finally, maybe we can get a, a Stone Cold so it won't cost me an arm and a leg to buy a Stone Cold Elite. So I looked it up and I was like, is it that? Like, is it that hard to get a Stone Cold Elite? And sure enough, all of them go for, for $30 plus loose. And then you got even some mock figures that go for $100, $70, $50 all over the place on the market. So that completely shocked me. You can even get loose Austins for four. I mean, like, it's kind of crazy out here, man. Like, I, you don't really know the aftermarket value of a figure. Like, if you ever think, oh, I'm just going to throw this figure on eBay, see what it's worth, see what I get, sometimes it's good to, you know, look that stuff up on eBay, find out what they're going for, because you can get, you can turn a great profit and pick up two or three figures for the price of your one if you have some extra figures laying around. And I remember when we got the Attitude Era Austin, and that figure was like 15 on Amazon for a very long time. I don't know what it's going for now on Amazon. Need to look that up-ish real quick. I totally butchered that. Need to look that ish up real quick. But Stone Cold Steve Austin is another guy on there. And then rounding out our final two guys, I, I mean, I understand why these two are pretty expensive. But I just thought it was crazy. When the Elite 72 Batista came out, I was like, thank God we're going to get another Batista figure in here. And it's going to be one of those figures that I get multiple of because I, I love that figure. I can use some different parts on it and stuff. I really want to use the red boots for some different fix-ups. And the Elite 72 Batista goes for $70, $80, $60 in the box. And I didn't see any loose listings, I don't think, that weren't in the 40s or something like that. So Elite 72 Batista is another one. And I understand it. He came in the company and then he left again. So we're probably not going to get a Batista figure for a long time. And all his figures have always been highly sought after because there's not that many of them. I think there's like five or six Elites maybe, uh, which is a pretty decent number, but it's not the most. you got the Elite 2, Elite 6, Hall of Champions, Elite, uh, you got the Blue Tista, you got the Elite 72, and then you have the Elite 30. So, uh, I mean, there's a decent amount out there, but they've always been highly sought after. And finally, we have Edge, who again is back in the company, so that's probably why his figures rose in value. But I feel like his figures have always been kind of expensive. The Elite 1, the Elite 13, with the, you know, the Edge and Christian Elite, the Elite 13 there. And some other figures have always... And the ringside exclusive has always been pretty expensive, the Elite 8. And that was probably because, you know, he came and then retired. And then now he's back, so they even, you know, tripled in value. It's kind of like how the Rey Mysterios did. The Rey Mysterio figures were kind of easy to get. And then once he returned, all of those figures, like, skyrocketed in value because people wanted them back in their collection. So that's probably what the case is for Edge, even though his figures were already expensive. But if you have any other figures, I would love to continue this series. I know we didn't have a ton that were, like off the wall. I'd say the most off the wall that was like, why is this expensive is probably uh, Drew McIntyre is probably the big one. But you have uh, the top talent, Seth Rollins, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Big Show, Zack Ryder, Heath Slater, No Way Jose. If you guys have any other figures that you looked up on eBay and were wondering why they're so expensive, I would love to take a look at them. So leave them down in the comment section below. But I enjoy doing videos like these. These are always the most fun where we can just kind of hang out, talk about figures, and see what the hell is going on with all these figure prices and stuff like that. But another video idea I had was ranking every ringside exclusive figure. I think I want to do that possibly and uh, I want to do some more ranking style videos. So if you guys have any specific requests for those, maybe like different series, ranking the figures in different series that I didn't review, like going back to Elite Series 1 through 5 and ranking them or something like that, that would be really cool. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. That is going to do it for this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. Let me know what you think of these figure prices down in the comment section below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.